mind it's fall and that's what I was doing I was playing with fall makeup you'll see in the next video but um, I'm going to be doing a fax video today I don't do them very often I used to do them very often but I don't do them as much anymore um, but I know you guys really like them when I do them so I try to throw it out every once in a while um, so I have I think like 22 fax or something like that I just turned my flashlight on um, like 22 fax or something like that I have done a video similar to this before I think like maybe two years ago something like that so I tried to pick fax that I feel like I've never really heard of mostly so that it's new content um, and so I'm just going to read them to you um, like always all of my social media links and the link to my second channel the link to my patreon all of that is in the description so if you would like to go take a gander you can go look in the description box and see what I have going on there okay without further ado I'm just gonna be reading from my phone here yep there are my facts I copied and pasted them into Google Docs so I can um, read them more smoothly. So, I'm going to get a little bit closer to the mic. Okay, so the first one is Squirrels Get Smarter. During the gray squirrels fall catching season, when the critters bury nuts and seeds in hundreds of scattered places to serve as emergency winter supplies, a typical squirrel shows a 15% increase in the size of its hippocampus, the memory and emotion center of the brain, compared to the rest of the year. I wonder what makes them, like, want to go research that. Like, let's go look at a squirrel's brain. <laughs> Number two, fall babies are better students. If you're not a squirrel, don't fret. Human children born in autumn, September through December, are more likely to excel in school than those born at other times of the year, according to a UK Department of Education report. Uh, and then there's a link that says, here's what else your birth month can predict about your health and life. I don't know if that's true, though. Like, if you're a fall baby, you're automatically a better student. Uh, I don't know. Okay, number three. Same thing with number three. Fall babies are more likely to live longer. Meanwhile, children born between September and November are more likely to live to be 100 than those born at other times of the year, according to a University of Chicago study of 1,500 sanitarians. One theory suggests that exposure to seasonal infections, especially in the summer, early in life, can have a long-lasting effect on health. At least they offered a reason, but I feel like it also definitely depends on, like, your family history, like, your health. But what do I know? Number four, autumn is good for the economy. At least in foliage blessed estates like New Hampshire and Vermont. Leaf peeping, the slang term for fall leaf tourism, is reportedly a $3 billion business in New England where millions of out of state visitors flock to take in the changing colors. You might want to plan your own trip, and this is why fall is the cheapest and best time to travel. It's true, especially now, I feel like, at least with the younger generations, like with Instagram and social media and like Visco and all these things where everyone just wants to post pictures, like, I, I mean, I've done it, I've paid to go to like an apple farm and to like take pictures with my friends. I hate to admit it, but it's true. I did get apples though, so at least there's that. Okay. Fall leaf color colors are actually present year-round. The gorgeous red, orange, and yellow pigments in fall foliage are actually there all year, just under the surface. Sunlight helps fuel plant cells containing a chemical called chlorophyll, which give leaves a vivid green color while working to turn light into energy. When sunlight diminishes, 
delicious in the fall. Chlorophyll breaks down, letting the plants hidden in red, yellow, and orange hues shine. Science. I remember learning about that in environmental science, actually, in like seventh grade. Number six, global warming could affect fall foliage. I realized that I'd been saying that wrong the whole time. Foliage. Relish the fall colors while you can. Scientists think that the rich reds, oranges, and yellows of fall may be one of the many casualties of global warming. Leaves change color in part because of cues taken from dropping temperatures. As temperatures remain warmer through fall and winter nights, they could delay the beloved fall color shift. One 2013 study found that fall colors now arrive five days later than they did 23 years earlier. Number seven, sex drive speak. Let's try that again. Sex drive spikes in the fall. Testosterone levels in both men and women spike higher in autumn than at any other time of year, several studies found. As a result, sex drive increases and men find women even more attractive than during the summer months. Do humans have a mating season like other animals? That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call cuffing season. Number eight. So does love. Love is in the air on Facebook too. An analysis of Facebook data found that more people change their relationship statuses from single to in a relationship or engaged in autumn than the yearly average, while more breakups occurred in the summer. It's a Facebook official. Fall is for lovers. Again, cuffing season. Number nine, monarch butterflies. Peace out. Who wrote this? <laughs> Monarch butterflies, meanwhile, make autumn a migratory season, flying south from America to the relative warmth of Mexico and parts of California, traveling at speeds of between 12 and 25 miles per hour. That's just shy of Usain Bolt's average 27.8 miles per hour foot speed. Okay, they are the only insect that migrates up to 200, I'm sorry, 2,500 miles for nicer weather. Number 10. Don't overlook the Arctic Turn. Not to be outdone, the white and cuddly Arctic Turn demonstrates an annual round-trip migration of 44,000 zigzagging miles between Greenland and the Antarctic, the world's longest yearly commute for any species. I don't know what the Arctic Turn is. I'll look it up and put a picture because I don't know what that is. I probably should, but I don't. Number 11. Autumn used to be called harvest. Until about 1500, autumn was just called harvest. The full moon closest to the autumn equinox is known as a harvest moon. Before cities electrified, the bright night of the harvest moon was essential for farmers harvesting their late year crops. Number 12. Christmas trees owe their color to their needles. How do Christmas trees stay green in the coldest, darkest months? Thank the needles. Coniferous needles are compact, watertight, and generally harder for weather and insects to destroy. By slowing everything down, pine trees can photosynthesize year-round, keeping the chlorophyll at work and keeping the needles permanently green. It's more of a winter fact, I feel, but maybe not. I don't know. Aurora Borealis is more likely to occur this time of year. It's like the northern lights. Hungry for more mystical, colorful phenomenon? Turn your eyes north to the Aurora Borealis, also known as the northern lights. These geomagnetic storms occur when charged solar particles squeeze through our atmosphere's defenses and collide with gaseous particles in Earth's sky. Thanks to longer, clearer nights, this free light show occurs twice as often during fall and winter months. Have any of you seen that in person? Let me know if you have. I would love to. 14. The autumnal equinox is pretty darn neat. The autumn equinox, which occurred on September 
is one of two days a year when the sun is exactly in line with Earth's celestial equator. As a result, Earth receives exactly 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness. The trick to remembering this is in the name. The word equinox comes from the Latin meaning equal night. That I did not know. That's cool. 15. Lower levels of vitamin D can mess with your weight. Researchers think that lower levels of vitamin D due to shorter days and less contact with sunshine is in part responsible for autumn and winter weight gain. A lack of vitamin D is thought to reduce fat breakdown and trigger trigger fat storage, leading to an average weight gain of two to four pounds each year in autumn and winter. Two and four pounds really is a lot in my opinion. But. Sixteen. <laughs> my throat just cracked my voice. Sixteen. Daylight saving time in the fall is good for us. Our bodies love to fall back. On November 6th, daylight saving times ends, giving us an extra hour of sleep. According to a New England Journal of Medicine report, Americans' rate of heart attacks has been known to fall on the Monday following the end of daylight saving time in November, while the rate of both heart attacks and car accidents tends to rise on the Monday following the start of DST in spring. Daylight saving time in spring. Interesting. 17. Autumn movies aren't Oscar worthy. No film with autumn in its title has ever won an Oscar. The version Spring, Summer 42, and The Lion in Winter provide the other seasons one statue apiece. Okay. 18. Dia de los Muertos is fascinating. One of the oldest autumn festivals is Mexico's Dia de los Muertos, November 1st and November 2nd, a celebration of departed loved ones and the cycle of life that Mesoamerican cultures may have observed thousands of years before Christmas. 19. Fall is caused by the Earth's tilt, not our distance from the sun. When the northern hemisphere tilts towards the sun, we get warmer. When it tilts away, we get colder. Fall and spring are the times of transition. That's like fifth grade science lesson for you. 20. Pumpkin spice has nothing to do with pumpkins. Pumpkin spice is actually the spice mix used for pumpkin pies. It is made from three tablespoons ground cinnamon. Three tablespoons of ground cinnamon, two teaspoons of ground ginger, two teaspoons of ground nutmeg, one and a half teaspoons of ground allspice, and one and a half teaspoons of ground cloves. You can make it at home or buy it pre-mixed at the grocery store. There you go. 21. Okay, I lied. I have 21, not 22. This is the last one. Ancient people wore Halloween costumes to hide from ghosts. The Celtic tradition believe, or Celtic tradition, I think, believed that ghosts roamed the earth on Halloween. Wearing a disguise would help you hide from these spirits. There's a word missing there, but I'm pretty sure it means hide from these spirits. So, those are all the facts that I have to share with you. A lot of the other facts were or like everybody knows them. That's why I didn't pick them. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this little facts video. I'll do some tapping for those of you that like that. sweater. Whew. Literally like a turtleneck.